foot to the floor as we go racing in Spain. A decent start from the front row. Vidalis comes across straight away to Hong Juan Manuel Correa. They go side by side behind each other now. Vidalis is going to have the inside line. Jack Crawford making it three wide coming into turn one. He has to bail out of that one. Smolia trying to find a way through in the middle of the pack two going round the outside of one of the Prima cars but it's a decent start then from David Vidalis. There's a move though for Smolia down the inside of Behrman. Smolia, a move for P6 there, gets in front the all red MP Motorsport car battling with the red and white framer. Behrman coming back at him though, side on nearly almost a touch of the tyres. Smolia will have the outside line now coming into the chicane, turns in, they both make it through. That becomes the inside. Smolia should have that line, thread the needle through as they clout the curve and we come towards the end of lap one. DRS should be activated. It is, it has been enabled. And that allows Crawford to get into the toe, plus DRS gets right up Easily behind done. him alongside. And he's through before they even break into turn one. Movement further back though, Cola Pinto trying it down. Round the outside of Stanek, no, can't be done. Stanek in front of Colapinto still, but they both got in front of Victor Martans, who's slowing down. Martans losing positions. Currently, the championship leader is falling down the pack, going very slowly at the moment in the black and white ART car. There he is on the inside, the number seven Alpine Academy back driver, losing power, falling down the field. Terrible for his championship. He'll be hoping to regroup for tomorrow's race. And there goes the engine cover for Colo Pinto down the main straight. It's gone. As we see Ooh. bits of the engine cover being hit now, so that's no, no good Maloney. or safe for anybody. Yeah, that's uh, they're going to be worried. They might. That's a danger of a puncture there for O'Sullivan and Maloney, who both clouted the engine cover of Colo Pinto, and you can see right in to the Mechachrome engine. And, and there it was breaking half off. of it coming off on the left-hand side of the car. Luckily, I think everyone managed to see it and avoid, but there's yeah definite punches out there with all that shards of carbon fibre. Franco now in the pits with his engine cover off, so that's the end of the day for him. Crawford closing, closing and closing. Which way is he going to dart? Left or right? Vidalis moves to defend. Crawford will have to go round the outside, the long way round if he's going to go and get it done. Can they go two by two? We saw many a collision there last year. Crawford bails out, meets the sausage curve. That gets him up and back onto the track, though. Luckily, not coming together, but Crawford living to fight another day, but will have to try and find another way through. Just doesn't quite commit to the outside early enough. And Vidalis says, no, not today. And as he hits that sausage curb, he really takes some air. He's now got to do all that hard work again, close right back up. So he's probably thinking now he should have just backed out and waited for the next lap round. Certainly, and that's a scary one when you lose all control going over those curbs. Battle for fourth here. Kaya Collette has to do a late dart to the inside, but with DRS, he's through into the braking zone of turn one, change of position. Collette gets through on Kalen Frederick, the P4. Smolly is trying to move further up. He has done it. He's gotten through on Kalen Frederick. That battle's been brewing for a little while now. And Hajar looks like he's got through on Behrman as well with DRS down into turn one. We'll wait to see that come through. There he is. There is Hajar through on Behrman. Ushijima will be fancying a go next up to try and get himself into the top ten. Ushijima gets through on Behrman. Here's the move being done. Behrman moves to the inside, tries to defend, but with DRS, looks like more grit, more confidence round the outside for Ushijima. That becomes the inside of turn two, and he's through to steal that final point away. Kaya Collette is trying to get on the podium. Juan Manuel Correa won't be having that down the inside. They just avoid each other. Correa back in front, but he's coming under pressure from Kaya Collette. Did Leclerc get through on Kalen Frederick? Yes, he did. Leclerc through for P6. As we see a replay of this move, nice and easily done in the end. Yeah, Frederick uh, deciding, I think, not to fight that one too hard. Which direction is he going to go? Correa decides to defend the inside, but Colette just seems like he's got superior straight line speed with that DRS and already moves to the middle of the track in front of Correa. Colette gets himself onto the podium. Correa, can he fight back with anything? It doesn't look like he's got enough left in the tank. 
Here comes Smolier though, trying for a move. Correa moves to the inside. Smolier to the outside with DRS. Late on the brakes for both of them. Who can break later? Correa forces Smolier off the road. Smolier has to take avoiding action and does do the uh, the trick round the ball off. But that means he's lost out to Leclerc as well. So Leclerc up to fifth. Smolier now down to sixth as Correa holds on to that fourth place. Correa moves early on to the inside. Does go very late on the brakes, but Smolier really was a car length alongside and uh, runs out of road and uh, does what the race director has stressed and he takes to that exit line left of the bollard but that unfortunately means he loses that to Leclerc as well. Here's Gregoire Saucy a bit further back. This is the battle for uh, 10th at the moment alongside Hajar he gets Saucy and now he fancies a go at Behrman as well threading the needle between the two drivers. Impressive driving there. Leclerc fancies a go on Correa, gets the move done with DRS. Correa can't do anything about that one. It will be David Vidalis who takes the sprint race win ahead of Jack Crawford. One and two, Kaya Collette sees off the podium in third in front of Leclerc and Correa does hold on to finish into the top five and then comes that huge battle in the middle of the pack. But congratulations all round for the home team on home soil with the home driver as well. David Vidalis takes his first win in his Formula 3 career, sealing 10 points in the sprint race. Come on, good job for all the team. David Vidalis to take the sprint race win ahead of Jack Crawford and Kayo Collette is in third, not Juan Manuel Correa. Leclerc in fourth, Correa was in fifth, but under investigation, RP1 and P2, they will have to visit the stewards room to discuss that overtake into turn one. Good hard racing in Formula 3 so far. We do it all again tomorrow for the feature race. Bye-bye.